I'd buy that for a dollar. That's from the original Mobo Robocop movie. Uh, movies I grew up with when I was a teenager. So I've been wanting this uh, for quite a while. I never showed up in Asia, so I had to come to the US and get it off eBay. Overpaid, of course. It's a darn shame. Okay, well, let's see if there's anything useful in the back. Oh, here we go. Delta City. Part machine, part man, part machine, all cup. That was a nasty scene right there. Yeah. Okay, well, this is a first generation Ford Taurus that was uh, available between 1985 to 1991, but we're looking at a 1986 version, I guess. This is a, considered a mid sized vehicle for Ford, and a lot of Ford's future was riding on this car. If this car failed, Ford was going to have to file bankruptcy according to Wikipedia. So this thing was uh, powered by a 2.5 liter inline four, up to a 3.8 liter V6. And then uh, it was known for its jelly bean or flying potato styling. It had composite headlights, which was one of the first American sedans to do so. And by that, like prior to this, you know, a lot of cars had sealed round lights or sealed rectangular lights. And Ford had to convince, you know, the, the safety authorities that composite lights, as long as they met crash standards, they should be fine. And that's why all modern vehicles now have crazy light assemblies. And they're plastic, whereas before they were glass. So, so this thing also had a grillless bottom breather nose, so, so to say, meaning... Uh, the the grill well the air is entering I guess down below the bumper, the door handles the windows uh, bumpers all trying to be aerodynamic and flush. Uh, the wheels are pushed out to the edges instead of really sunken in, you know inwards, and so all this improved aerodynamics and handling. So for its day, this thing had a drag ratio of 0 0.32, which is quite good. A lot of modern vehicles. Uh, still have that or worse uh, and then the controls were designed to be recognized by touch alone instead of having to look down and then get into a car accident now we have mobile phones and stuff to do that for us <clears throat> and then around two million of them were sold so it obviously was a successful car for Ford and that's why I guess Ford is still around or you know they didn't have to file for bankruptcy there I remember my neighbor my neighbor's mom, you know, we went to school together, my, my neighbor, of course, and uh, his mom bought the station wagon version of this car, and uh, within a few weeks, the rear wheel fell off while she was driving. So I don't know if the dealership forgot to tighten the lug nuts or what, but she immediately traded, sold it, it, or traded it in and got a Subaru and never had a problem with the Subaru. Probably just a bad dealership. All right, let's see what's going on with this guy. So it's, um, I wouldn't call this a gloss finish. It's either satin black, or maybe it's trying to be a matte finish. But with these bright lights, it still has a, a shininess to it, right? It's taken up by, I guess it's called satin. I'd call it satin. <coughs> oh, it rolls well enough. So the OCP... Detroit Police badge looks pretty good. These wheels look good. Green Knight does a good job with their wheels, I think. And they're nice and crisp. And then uh, tires look pretty good, too. They're rounded. Door handles, yes, they're kind of flush. And a little recess below them. Cast it in mirrors. Uh, a little silver paint or white paint is left behind. So, uh, that is silver paint, actually. All right. And then we have window molding details, painted black. Looks all right. Fuel filler here. Uh, I guess that's a car number. And some white paint there. I don't know if that's a running light. I'd imagine it is, because this probably is a turn signal. Not enough paint there, sadly. And then we've got this bull guard here, brush guard. And then two uh, auxiliary lights there that match the photograph. Where is this license plate? Yeah, it's a barcode. I never noticed that, but the front photo, yes, it's like a barcode license plate. Interesting. There's a Ford badge up in there, and it does seem like it's probably legible. It's just, you know, hard to see with this thing in the way. 
Um, these headlights are just painted white, it seems. So that's too bad. But oddly, it looks like it's a separate piece. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know if... Maybe it's just a... This is all black and they painted that white. I was wondering maybe if this is clear and they painted it. Because they did that on the a Mustang I reviewed. Alright. Wiper blades, uh, they seem okay, I guess. They're raised a little bit. And the black out of the window looks good. Then on this side, yeah, that white paint here is better. This looks a little bit off. The police is a little close to the bottom there. That looks good. Yeah, tires and wheels look good on this side. And then the taillights look pretty, well, darn it. I was trying to be positive. Not so bad here. Why is it, why are these so whacked out? Yeah. It's like the yeah, orange lights are correct, but the white ones were printed at an angle. But the license plate is cool. This is quite legible, very good. The lock thing is actually missing the mark. There's a little depression. I guess you just probably leave that depression off and just print on a smooth surface. Ford looks all right as well. Can't see any exhaust tip over here. Probably for aerodynamics. This police light bar is pretty nice. You got some silver up there, white on the ends, and then it's translucent, red, and blue. Some orange there. White, white, white. There's a lot of paint and a lot of detail going on in that light bar. And it's actually located properly. My Mustang, the lights are like a crooked. So, not cool. And then I guess this must be like a searchlight or something. And it's painted white. Yeah, no clear plastic. Hmm. All right, seems okay. So, the, the interior, you know, molded black details, probably pretty good. Actually, it looks like there's a computer right there like the police cars have, right? So that's good. It's not just a standard standard car interior. It's actually a police interior. Like, yeah, uh, that's a nice touch. Got a little keyboard, I think. So cool, green light. You went the extra mile to make it a not a standard road car. Third brake light, I think, maybe up in there. Hmm. All right. And then uh, the treads here, they look uh, all right. The tire width also looks all right. And then it's nice that green light tells you they made it. They made it around 2021. And then it's what the car is. So green light has the best information. Unfortunately, they're press fit together, so you can't fix any problems easily or do. Uh, yeah, you can't repaint the interior unless you drill it out. Not that I'd really want to on this one, but just in general, all green lights seem to be press fit together. Oh, actually, I had a Lincoln Continental that was screwed together, so I'm mistaken again. All right, well, what to share, or what to sh compare to? Well, I guess I got that Mustang to, to show from green light. See, look at this. The holes are just drilled at a weird angle, so the police bar is just messed up. It's a real shame. Otherwise, it was a cool car, this drag car, this Arizona Highway Patrol drag car. It's a kind of a fantasy. The, the livery actually exists, but I don't think it was a drag car. Yeah. Mm, let's see what else. And I just don't have any other cars from the 80s, so... I mean, I don't even think this is from the 80s. This is a 93. The Taurus was sold up until 91, so that's kind of close. But anyways, this, this, these are kind of fantasy cars, so I'm going to just throw this out here. It's a 69 Chevy Kingswood from Johnny Lightning, the uh, Zingers. So it's got this crazy raked, uh, raked profile with exhaust sticking out the bottom there. Alright. Let's get the spin machine. Cinderella. All right, well, historically, if I was back in Asia, I'd probably try to pick this up at the store. But uh, this one was a success. Uh, you know, I did mail order this, but I don't see any major problems. It's uh, a yeah, minor problem might be a little misprint there in the tail lights, but otherwise it's almost a perfect model. So good job, green light. I'm really glad that you did this subject. Yeah, I think it'd really be really cool if you went and tried to do the SUX 6000 from this movie. They never really, sh I don't know if they ever showed the full car, but it's like a, <laughs> I 
I don't know, some car they're trying to push in the movie. Okay, well, a quotation from the movie. Excuse me, I have to go. Somewhere there is a crime happening.